Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, as you're about to finish, Yeza comes in and just gives you a kiss before you leave. Well, as he does, I'm going to sleight of hand slip one of the sex potions into his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Roll sleight of hand. Oh, yeah, like it's a million. 29 or something. Like None that. the wiser. <laughs> so enjoy your dog. The cat is mine. And I pull Frumpkin back. Take a couple of steps back for me, will you? Yes, it is the same. Goodbye, Yeza. Bye, Kayla. Okay, Goodbye. six seconds, here we go. And I draw the last arcane sigil, and it lights up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, Ma- Ma- Marion, already she's finishing up, Marion gives you a big hug, Jester, and says, take care of yourself. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back to see you really soon, okay? Okay, shine bright, my sapphire. I love you, Mama. Love you, Jester. Oh shit, I left the dress in the guest bed! <laughs> <laughs> as, as you're all gathering uh, forward, you're about to step in there, and you feel this like cold spike shoot through the back of your head oh, for a no. moment, and a voice just kind of gently caresses the inside of your ear that says, Return. And right as you finish that step, the momentum, your eyes wide, the brain kind of numb from the sudden moment where time seems to slow. As you experience this, you step down and enter in the circle, and shh, all of you are heading towards. Oh, back, back, back to, to Rosa Dynasty. Yes. Shush, you all re-emerge uh, on the opposite side of this transportation circle, now standing beneath the Lucid Bastion. The guards, familiar with your arrival, not you know, not far from where you, you know, have arrived here, greet you, and there's not a huge issue at all. But mm-hmm. you all kind of gather yourselves. You've arrived successfully. Do when when uh, Jester's mom was hugging her, did the teleportation circle go off and like just her arm got teleported? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's geez. just like a severed arm. <laughs> she just got like Philadelphia experiment. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, damn. Sorry. That would have been awesome. <laughs> it's not a bear, Sam. <laughs> not right. Why don't we go check on our house guest, for starters? Mm-hmm. Wait for our things and get ready to go. Anyone different seem to be watching us in the arrival chamber? Make a perception check. 19. 19. Looking about, it seems to be standard armored Korean soldiers, that so these all do wear kind of the, the elevated kind of capelets of those who are assigned at higher levels of responsibility. Um, a different design than the ones you saw in Bazosan. Those are more field. This is more specifically assigned to the Elusive Bastion. Um, but nothing out of the ordinary. But you guys are escorted off of the Bastion's premises back into uh, the firmaments to where your home is, and you return without any sort of issue or uh, complications. This guy still, at this point it would be uh, midday, you know, or let's say like late morning. Uh, actually, actually, from distance from Nicodronus, I'd say it's probably early morning, mm-hmm. uh, though the sky is still dark, no sun. On that walk, uh, telepathically, mm-hmm. I ask my cat if he saw anything funky outside the chateau last night. Mm-hmm. Okay, still paranoid, good. <laughs> Understood. Um, but you return to the Jor house, Dairon is waiting. Uh, now you put in an order for materials you required, and uh, what did you put in the order for? Um, food and water for the trip. Um, uh, transportation with a cart, if available. A way of transporting uh, and camping supplies for cold weather. Okay, yeah, camping supplies is your little food and water. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a uh, two horses and a cart wagon waiting for you, kind of already taken off to the side of the building. Yeah, enough for the travel and like a little bit of spending money also if they had anything, but I had a funny feeling they weren't going to give us any spending money. No. Yeah. No. Anybody else had anything they wanted? Oh, um, that's right, there was one other thing, some crossbow bolts. I have some. Okay. I got some. Oh, you already? In. Yep, I okay. got plenty. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I think that was just basics, nothing nothing too fancy. He wouldn't have thought to put anything fancy. Okay. Some augmentation to our current kit. All right, and you guys handle your introduction of Dairon to mm. Essek. Yeah, yeah, I guess if we can guess. summon Essek to do this. Yeah, or he's... if he, I don't know, 
I mean, aside from messaging directly with uh, Jester, the other option would be to have to send a runner to go ahead and uh, deliver a message, but it's up to you guys. Walk over to his house. You don't have to do it here. Do we know where he lives? Yeah. We do. No, you have not been to Essex Place. I figured Excuse Essex. Me. I figured Essex would come with the delivery of the of the materials anyway, because but but that was uh, the materials. Have, if you ordered it while you were gone, they've yeah, already they been, brought, been brought. And Essex isn't going to be you know right. not going to escort your delivery we supplies. Can, we can just message Essex. No, don't necessarily have to do it in person. It's dope shit. What is it? Uh, I believe. It's like the. Let me look it up again. Or we can oh, stop by on the way out. Yes, guy, it's a really cool sounding. Shadow hand. Shadow hand. Yeah, Shadow hand. Shadow hand. That's what it is. Shadow hand. Yes. We can stop yeah, by on the way out. Yeah, message him, Jess. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Should I just tell him that Dyron's here and somebody's watching the house? We're, so don't you worry that there's a person here. We're, we're taking off and we're leaving the house in someone's care. Okay, well, I'll just you have to that. bring them here so we can do a face-to-face -face meeting. Just say Why? like, hey, come here. We want to introduce you to our new. Uh, well. To remind you, like, this journey you're taking, how are you doing this journey? The discussion when you were in the oh, Lucid Bastion oh, was, yeah, was go Essek was going to take you that's there fair. via Oh, magic. that's right, so oh, we should right. just tell him to come yeah. to the house. Yeah. Yeah. Essek, come on up! Okay, I'll send a message to Essek. All right. That's right, thank you. No worries. Hey, Essek, come over, please. We're yeah. going to Easy. leave, <laughs> and we need your help and stuff. And Use the whole message. Easily enough. Put a bunch of caltrops down on the floor. I'll just glide right over. Ooh. <laughs> I throw down some ball bearings, see if any of them move. Okay. <laughs> All right, fair enough. All right, so. <clears throat> uh, short time passes until eventually there is a rap at the door. Ooh, I get into position so I have view of the ball bearings. All right. It'd be really bad if he just banana peels. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be amazing, and we'll find out here in a second. Um, who gets the door? Uh, I'll get it with my mage hand. All right. <laughs> ting, 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 ting. The door, <laughs> the door opens. The chimes tingle. You never get old. Um, you know there are two armed guards that just kind of are escorting Essek, uh, who are just waiting outside. And Essek arrives. And goes, "Hello. Uh, it seems you have made your preparations and are ready to leave." Yes. yes. You may enter and crash into the threshold. Thank you. It glides in, and you watch the ball bearings actually. Separating out around Whoa. his form, like there is some invisible force that is pushing them outward, and kind of like, kind of just generating this strange force that keeps them at bay, like a hovercraft, <laughs> kind of, yeah. Hovercraft. Oh no! Did we leave the ball bearings on the floor? Oh, silly me! <laughs> you know who we should talk to about that? Our housekeeper, Dyron. Huh. You're a very curious bunch indeed. <laughs> Dyron! Dyron is already like right there behind you, arms crossed. Yes, I have arrived. Be more conscious to pick up all the ball bearings <laughs> next time, please. My apologies, Beauregard. I will not let this happen again. <laughs> Thank you. I would like to introduce you to our liaison. Essek of the Shadow Hand, right? Yeah, right? He's, the shadow he's the Shadow Den Hand. Thalos. I have the heard hand. of you. It is a pleasure. Ah, ah well. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance as well, Dyron. If anything needs handling while we're gone, this is a, a good point of contact for the house or otherwise. Since we had to drop Yeza off, we figured it was smart to get a keeper. Understood. <clears throat> well, have you gathered your things? Are you ready for your journey then? Yeah, yeah I think sure. so. Then come, join me outside. Turns around and glides out, and the ball bearings, who have kind of wobbled and get pushed off again to the sides of the wall, clatter. He kind of looks down as he passes by at them. <laughs> you could call him the hover hand. But he didn't see the bucket of water we put over the door. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Mighty Pranks! <laughs> All right, so. Are you hover handing? Yes. <laughs> She's hover handing me. Hover handing? She's the hover hand. <laughs> 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 I think they listen to every photo. <laughs> <laughs>